project for use on my homemade lathe. It's made out of oak hardwood. There's a one inch dowel that's glued into a four inch diameter, three quarter inch thick disc that has these four countersunk holes or number 10 metal screws. And those guys can be used to attach to either the workpiece directly or like in the case where I have here that there's a three quarter inch piece of plywood that's a, like a sacrificial workpiece right here. And then I've got the actual uh, work piece that I want to work on that's attached to the plywood and when you go to attach to a sacrificial work piece you know there's lots of different methods you can use uh, like gluing or screwing them down or double-sided tape or hot glue lots of different methods that you can do and the dowel is um, got a, a drill hole through the center that is sized to um, be tapped to a uh, half inch by 13 thread size to match the spindle size that I have for my homemade lathe right here. And by the way, there's a separate video on my channel for this homemade lathe if you're interested in to see some more information about that. Uh, the dowel itself extends all the way to the end of this oak faceplate right here and then it's glued in place and then the dowel also extends back this way also and the only reason for that is that I want this surface right here to bottom out on the spindle bearing within the headstock right here so that that's the idea there is that it should strengthen it a little bit and try to minimize the amount of vibration that's going on um, after it, the glue dried on the dowel, I went in and uh, trued up all the surfaces of the faceplate. I did that already on this guy. I didn't do it for the three quarter inch plywood. Um, one of the other uh, details I'll mention about this is that because my tailstock also uses a half inch rod, I could use, in theory, I could use this faceplate on my tailstock as well and I can kind of see some cases where you might want to have a uh, faceplate on the tailstock if you're doing some irregular spindle lathe work, off-center maybe uh, lathe work. And the, the uh, well some benefits of making your own faceplate are that it's less expensive. Uh, this faceplate was made with uh, just materials I had in, around already but if I had to kind of pay for the materials, it'd be, I, I figure it would be about 50 cents, which is much less expensive than buying a commercial faceplate. The other thing you can do is you can customize this guy to whatever diameter you want, whatever screw pattern you want. And so there's some flexibility there. And then also, because it's so inexpensive, you can make multiples of these. And like I said, if you're working on several projects at the, you know, um, at the same time, or in parallel, you can mount those projects to their, its own faceplate and not have to be switching back and forth between the same uh, single faceplate. And so this guy, this faceplate just attaches like any other faceplate, just screws onto the spindle. And it's self-locking, and just bottom out and self-locking right there. Yep, that's it, right there. So this is an upcoming project that I have to make a ball and socket out of wood. This part being the socket side, and it's two pieces, and I've got marked out here the start of where I will scrape out a three-quarter inch diameter sphere on the inside of these two pieces. Tool rest just moves into place, and probably put it somewhere like right about like that. I'll have my scraper tool like this and just kind of come in at it at an angle and carefully remove that material.